Hey guys, I already have one foundation, chapstick, I did my brows. <laughs> I'm going to get into the ColourPop Ornate Press Powder Palette. But first I'm going to put on my Fenty Eye Primer. I don't know what I'm going to do with this palette yet. Oh my gosh, I almost stuck myself in the eye. Because I'm rushing. My battery's on like 15%. So yeah, I'm rushing. I had a burst of energy, so I'm like, let me just go ahead and try this palette and do a video. It may be in real time, or I may speed it up. I'm not quite sure yet. I kind of want to do one eye. Ooh. You see that? This brush just shed. I don't know if I want to do one eye with this palette and one eye with the Uma Beauty palette or not. I'm kind of thinking that's what I want to do. Just so I can say I tried them both. And I am scared of the Uma Beauty one because some of those, that whole top row is like shimmer slash glitter. And me don't do the glitter shimmer thing. Shimmers, yes. Glitters, no. And if it's a mix of shimmer and glitter, I'm just like, Phew. All right, so well, let's see. We're going to, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in with this shade up here, which looks more mustard in person. On, yeah, that's more of how it looks in person. It looks more of a mustard versus a yellow. So I'm going to put that on this eye. Yeah, I think I'm going to do one eye, one eye, one palette. My first ColourPop purchase, my first Uma Beauty purchase. I need another one of these brushes, but they don't make them anymore. If I'd have known I was going to like it as much as I did, I would have purchased two. Because usually, usually if I like a brush, I purchase another one or two of them. That's showing up nicely. I like that. I am having to keep dipping back in, though. Which is not necessarily a problem. That may mean I just might actually hit pan. <laughs> <sighs> I like that. I like that color a lot. And I know this is not the proper brush for underneath my lower lash line, but figured I will try it anyway. I'm going to take a smaller brush and dip into that same color to put it under my lower lash line. I'm using a mirror down here because this does not have a mirror. And I do have a handheld mirror over here, but I'm trying to hold the palette. And so I don't want to have to keep putting it down to hold up a mirror. So if things look janky, it's because I can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> Next, I'm going to take, hmm, I'm going to try this color. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'm going to put that directly into the crease. Oh, that came out darker than I thought. Well, not really, because it's dark in the pan. It was this color down here. This one in the corner. And they do have names, and I think it would slow me down, though, if I tried to actually read the names. Um... I'm not sure I'm liking how this is. Oh, I just dipped in the wrong color. Let me wipe off the brush. I'm not sure if I'm liking how this is going on. I like how it's looking grungy, the mix of those two colors. I like that. What is this one? Ornate. Okay. Okay, that inner corner needs work. I'm going to dip into that same color with this first brush I used and lay that down right here. Okay, here we go. I'm liking how it's looking grungy, but it's something I'm not liking about it. Like the way it's blending right here. isn't looking nice to me. I don't know. 
yeah I do think I'm getting what people say about the quality of ColourPop shadows and how they blend. It is smooth. I'm not having a problem with it, but um, yeah, something's just not looking right. But we're going to work it out. This brush doesn't have anything on it yet. If you guys saw my last few videos, there was a spot right here where the shadow just was not blending and I have no idea why. I don't know, maybe if I have, I do have a mole in there. In there I do have a mole right here but that wouldn't make this entire area difficult to blend so I like I don't know what is up with that all right so we're going to I'm gonna wipe that brush off and go in with I'm gonna go in with this middle shade something simple and something's telling oh this looks glittery <laughs> something is telling me to use an angled shader brush this color does not seem to be showing up that well. I'm going to switch to an angled shader brush. Okay, I'm not, yeah, this is falling out everywhere. Mm. This does go on better with the angled brush and with the press method, press and pull, instead of like just sweeping. Um, I don't know. What are you guys thinking? I liked how the first two colors looked grungy when they mixed. And maybe I should have just put this like all over the lid. And just left it that way. Along with this already in the crease. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to need to play with this some more. And I do have fallout. I'm going to take this brown shade here. I'm trying to get the color to show up how it looks in the pan. I'm going to take this brown shade here. And put that underneath my lower lash line. I don't know about that... Um, Oh boy, that lid color. So what I'm going to do, I'm wiping, sorry if the camera was shaking. I'm wiping off that brush I used for that middle shade. I'm going to go in with this one just to see, actually I'm going to go in with this one to see if I can lighten up my lid. And I don't always really feel like the lid needs to be sparkly. This is probably an inner corner color. So I'm going to put this on the inner corner. And bring that over a little bit. I don't know about this. These colors. I don't know. I'm going to go back in with that middle color. I don't know guys. What do you guys think? I'm not liking it. <laughs> I'm really not. I'm going to take <laughs> that first brush I used and I'm going to wipe it off. And I'm going to take this shade and just do a brow bone highlight. I can hear the leaf blower outside. It's not even any loose leaves because it rained yesterday. So like any leaves on the ground are like wet. I can hear where my rent money's going. I don't like this look, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this shade here. I don't I don't know. And I'm just gonna try and do something up here. Because there's like just too much space up here. And that color. Oh man. Okay, maybe. Huh, good grief. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe because I haven't done a look in so long that I'm just like... Uh, my battery just went to 5%, so the screen got super dark. So that's what we have. I don't like it. I'm going to charge my phone <laughs> and come back and do something. I'll see you. 
I didn't do anything else to this. I I don't know. I don't I don't know. Maybe once I put liner on, I like it better. I'm not sure. And I'm looking at this like this is a palette that I would like. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This shade, this one, and this one. I did have fallout, and I felt it falling out onto my face. I haven't brushed anything away. You can't see it most likely because the shades are light. And this one, I'm is a glittery shade too, and so I'm thinking this one is going to do the same thing. So I'm kind of on the fence, number one, because I don't really like the look. And number two, because out of the nine shades, four of them are those fallout shimmer wannabe glitter shades. So we're going to move on to the Uma Beauty. And I was feeling this to see if my Fenty primer is still tacky, and it kind of doesn't really feel like it, surprisingly. And so I'm going to just put a little bit more on, and we're going to see what we can do with this eye. I am going to play with this at least two more times. No, I'll say at least once, because if I don't like that look either, then I probably won't keep it. Um, but I will also definitely still try those shimmer shades again. Because the colors are colors I like. I just, I think I just haven't done an eye look in so long. And that crease shade didn't blend out well either. It looks worse down here in this mirror where that line did not blend out. Surprisingly, because... I'm going to take that same color again and see if I can blend that line out. Like, I don't know why it's not really blending. And the shades do go on, the shadows do go on, like, really smoothly. And so I get what people are talking about with um, ColourPop, the texture of the shadows, well, the matte ones anyway. I'm having problems. All right, we're going to switch to the... <laughs> we're going to switch that to the other eye. We're going to take... Well, me. And I am afraid of this entire top row. Also, as a free gift with the purchase from Ulta, they sent me this. I've never wanted anything from Kylie. I'm 50 years old. Um, I'm a black woman. I am not her target demographic at all. I've never had any interest in any of her products. Um, that was the lip liner and this is a gloss. This is not, does not look like, like my shade at all. So this is going to go somewhere to somebody. And I have somebody in mind, but it might end up in a giveaway. I have a couple things on now. So go through my videos and see what's going on. And you may be the one to get that as well as some other stuff. So I'm going to wipe off this brush. And I'm going to take... This is challenging because, hmm, you know what? I'm going to do my, I'm going to do my lid in sections. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to pull out my angled brushes. So I'm going to take this yellow here and place it on my inner corner. That is uh, not showing up as vibrant in the on my lid as it is in the pan. So that's a little disappointing. Does that look the same? I can't see. Let me open my eye. <laughs> that was really silly. I know. Welcome to the crazy. So, okay. I'm going to wipe that. No, I don't have to wipe that one off because I have two more of them and I'm going to take this orange shade here put that next to there's no kick up in the pan which is good but I did dust off the brush and there was some fallout onto my cloth here but I'd rather have kick up in the pan or fallout on a cloth when I tap my brush than have I know I just stopped my sentence didn't have fallout on my face so that was this shade so I guess they're kind of looking like how they look in the pan I'm going to take another my third one or do I want to go bigger not this third one and I'm going to take this here in the middle 
that one has some kick up in the pan. I'm going to put this here. This is going to look really crazy with two drastically different eye looks. This orange, I think I would need a base under there because I can still see my skin beneath that orange shade. This one is coming up nice. Excuse if there's a glitch. My phone is telling me it's at 15%. I only charged it to 20 because I just wanted to get these videos out. I'm going to go back and try to pack on some more of this orange. Because it is lost. If I hadn't have just put it on, I would have said it faded. <laughs> but I know it didn't fade because I just put it on. But it's, it's a very sheer color. This is the brush that it had. Well, you can see what it had on there. <laughs> And I'm going to take uh, a wider flat shader brush and we are going to go in, might as well just keep going, this one right here. Keep going in a row and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. This actually is a look that I would do in the summertime. Or for um, a party. Now that there are any going on right now, this is one that I would do. Now this one, it's just, this, oh. <laughs> I was thinking that the ColourPop one was called Carnival, and I was saying this should be called Carnival, and this is the Carnival palette. Yeah. I had a moment and I checked the date today is Tuesday November 24th I think I said earlier it was the 23rd or the 22nd you know when you guys retire I just dipped in again to the same color when you guys retire you will realize it is really a thing where you don't know like what the date is or what the day of the week is and this does have a mirror but I wanted to show you the colors and so that's why I'm looking in this mirror so really can't see that might be an issue too with this eyes because I'm having trouble seeing in this mirror down here. So maybe that's why the shadows ended up all over. But even though like these ones are coming out nice. So like I don't know if it's my lack of good vision or not. I'm going... <laughs> I know that sounded crazy. I'm going to take this blending brush. Do I want this blending brush? No. I want a denser one. Uh Okay, so I'm going to take this blending brush and I'm going to go in with this brown here. I think it's brown. And I'm going to put that above all of these crease colors. I mean all of the lid colors. And blend that lightly above all of that. There's not a shade in here for a brow bone highlight. <clears throat> doing something funky with my inner corner area and I don't know why I think I just haven't done my eyeshadow in so long that I'm just having issues that is really what I think it is to be honest or maybe it just looks like that to me like I don't know I feel like with this palette I would have to go into another palette to complete the look because I have a lot of space up here and I need something here. And I don't want to take this shade like all the way up. You know what I mean? So I, I'm loving the lid. And just for giggles, I'm going to take another angled brush just to try one. <laughs> I'm going to take this shade here because it's not really a color and I'm going to just put that on the lid and just to see what it does. Oh my gosh, glitter. Just to see what it does to the colors that are already there. So I'm lightly tapping. I'm not doing the press and swipe thing. I just want to see. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay. This is, I think this is just straight glitter. Very finely milled though. Like I'm not feeling it fall on my face like I did the ColourPop ones. But it's not even... Oh 
oh gosh, I can see it on my face, but I don't feel it falling on my face like I did over here with the ColourPop. But it's not even adding anything, which was kind of the, well, not the point. I didn't want it to add color, but I wanted to see, okay, now I'm pressing. I just wanted to see would it just make the matte shadows not so matte, like just give it some sparkle. And it's doing that, but not the way I want it to do it. And I don't want to press and pat too much because I don't want to move these colors. I don't want to make my lid muddy because I liked how, how I was able to see each individual color. So this, I, I don't know. And so I'm not sure if all of those shades are like that or if they just, oh, I got fallout all under my... Under my lower lash line and on my face. So I'm thinking all of these might be that way or they just may need to be put just directly on the lid on top of eye primer and not used as a topper. So I am going to play with this again, but I am, where's my little plastic thingy? But I am going to need to go into another palette because I just have too much space right here and none of these shades would really go there and look right. So I don't really know. What am I going to grab real quick? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to grab my De Natasha Denona Cam Camel palette and I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to take this shade right here which says copper stone. That's not copper stone. Is that a matte? That doesn't look matte to me. I think that's Dune. Oh gosh. And I'm just going to put that here. And then I'm going to take this one here. Actually, no, I'm going to take the middle. I love that shade. I can tell it's the one I use most. And I am just going to sweep this right here. That is a good shade for me for blending, as you can see. See, now I'm liking this one. I'm going to try this same color on the other side because I am not liking this at all. And I am going to continue to use this palette, but not this one, the ColourPop one. But I'm just really, like, hating this look. I like that a little bit better. But still, look at that crease color, though. Like, this... <sighs> Why is that? still looking like that do I like it enough to keep it I'm gonna try it again I don't want to give up so quick that was my first time using it I am going to put on some liner real quick just to try to like it better I'm retarded I have a mirror here I got fallout like all over my face. Oh my gosh. I messed up my liner. What else is new? So I just have to make it thick. <laughs> and then I just messed up again. So it's going to be like a super thick line. I just realized I didn't do anything underneath my lower lash line over here. Yeah, I need to start doing my makeup again on a regular basis because <laughs> this is looking really janky. I'm going to just do a thin line over here so hopefully I don't mess up and that way I can keep it thin. There we go. Okay, we're going to keep that like that. Lower lash line. Looking at my time here. Lower lash line, back into the Uma Beauty. I'm going to take that last shade. What brush did I use? I'm going to take this shade here and just put that underneath. Just because. Can't even really tell. It's like there, not there, under my eye, which is okay. And. For giggles mascara <laughs> I wasn't going to and I keep looking at the time because of my battery and 
uh, it's telling me I only have like three more minutes to film because of the memory in my phone because it's not charged. And I probably didn't even need to do mascara because I don't do falsies. And so I don't even know, like on camera, does it really translate when I put on mascara or not? Or does it still just look the same? Like I can tell the difference, but I don't know if you guys can tell the difference. All right, all right, okay. We're gonna do some on the bottom lashes. Just a little bit, because this is getting washed off afterward. <laughs> so we're not gonna keep doing stuff. I say as I keep doing stuff. And so that is almost the final look. We're going to take, ugh. Fenty Gloss Bomb, and I believe this is confetti. Yes, it is. Just for giggles on top of my chapstick. To give some shine to my lips. And so this is the final look. Let me guys, let me guys know. Let me know guys how you're feeling about the Ornate ColourPop palette. That's the one on this eye. I did have to go in with the Camel palette. And the Uma Beauty uh, Carnival palette. Let me know what you're thinking about those. Let me know about these looks. I don't know. But you, <laughs> you'll see me in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.